All right, so how do you update the firmware on your Pentax camera? Well, I'm going to use my Pentax K3 as an example. However, I have already updated the firmware, but I'm going to walk you through the steps and explain one thing that I noticed is never explained very well in any other video that I've seen regarding updating firmware for a camera. So, uh, obviously you start by turning the camera on. Woo, look at that! Okay, and once the camera's on, then you just go into your menu, go to firmware info. So you'll see here I'm using obviously a K3, it's version 1.4, which is actually the latest firmware. Okay, so once that's verified, uh, now you want to format the memory card. I'm going to format both of them because I've got two in here and it's been a while since I formatted, so. Might as well just get it all done. Do, 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 do. Now, when you're doing the uh, when you're doing the firmware upgrade, I believe, if I recall correctly, uh, it should be in slot one, uh, which is the primary slot for the camera. Um, now, I have it on uh, memory mode, so every time I turn on the camera, it'll stay on the last menu option that I had on. So right now, now make sure as well that you're running on a full battery. Okay, and uh, now let's go to the Rico site and get the firmware. Okay, now uh, it's very, very simple to actually try to find the firmware that for your camera. Uh, just You can just go to Google and uh, let's see, we'll, we're looking for Pentax K3 firmware, which is here since I've already uh, gone to the site, so let's just click. Actually, well, let's let's do it the long way. So, all right. So type in your model of camera or manufacturer of camera, the model, and let's see firmware update. If you want to go the long way, you could just do firmware. Google's pretty smart like that. And then here you are, Rico Imaging. Boom. And should take us right to the K3 page. Uh, yeah, yeah, look at that. English support digital K3. All right, perfect. So as I shown as I showed before, I already have version 1.40. Uh, so obviously I'm not going to actually push the firmware update onto the camera, but I'll walk you through everything up until that point. The rest of it is very simple. You just start the update, and the camera when it's finished will just it'll be a black screen and uh, then you turn the camera off, you turn it back on, and away you go. So first you need to agree and download, so let's do that. And you see the download happening here, okay. Now let's open the folder. All right, and let's drag it out of there. This is just how I do it. Okay, now you'll notice here that it's it's what's known as zipped. Now you need to unzip the file. Uh, hold on, let me actually get that onto the right screen. Oh, what? No, it's not what I wanted to do. Okay, let me close that. Okay, so here's the file, and uh, what you actually want to do, you'll see here, it's it's zipped, so it's compressed. The camera will not understand that. So what you need to do is just double click it and you'll see that it is a bin file here so let's extract this file actually well, let's do this a different way let's extract all there we go okay and where do you want to extract it to we want to keep it on the desktop so let's extract and here we go now we have the bin file now here's where some confusion happens because it's always stated to place this bin file in what's known as the root of the SD card. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put my SD card into my SD card reader and with that being said, uh, if you use a laptop, uh, they all have their own SD card reader. If you're using a desktop, you may need to purchase an SD card reader. Um, 
But I'm assuming since you already take photos, you already have one of these, or you wouldn't be able to get the photos to the computer very efficiently because you'd have to use the USB. Anyway, enough of that. So here we go. So we have the DCIM folder, which you'll see is empty, right? You do not want to place the bin file inside any folder whatsoever. Outside of this folder, so the rest, this is all part of the SD card. So all of this is actually known as the root. It's the very base of the SD card. So let's just drag this in here, copies it over. Okay, and that's it. That part's done. So uh, from here, uh, what we're going to do is now move this over to the camera. So remember, do not put it in any folder that's inside the SD card. You want to actually place this in what's known as the root, the root of the card. So it's not a folder, it's the card itself, period. And uh, all right, so let's uh, throw this onto the camera and away we go. All right, so let's take the memory card out, place it into the camera in slot one, as you'll see here. Oh, come on, there we go. Into slot one, which is the main slot. All right, now let's turn the camera back on. Boom. All right, now let's see what it says about the firmware. So let's just move the arrow over and it says nothing probably because it's not an updated firmware so I'm not even going to be able to show this. Well that was a complete and utter waste. Um, but anyway at least I uh, explained <laughs> that part that uh, I wanted to explain in regards to actually let me see if maybe it's slot two. I don't remember when I did this. I'm pretty sure it was slot one, but anyway, let's see. Yeah, it probably won't actually, probably won't do it because of the fact that, yeah. Yeah, because it's the same firmware that's already in here, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do it. Um, but at least I explained the part about, you know, uh, the whole root folder structure thing, because that's the part that's actually missing from, uh, all the other videos they, they say okay I just place it in the root but they don't actually explain what the root is the root is not a folder within the SD card it's the main SD card area period now technically speaking you don't have to format the card to erase all your photos and everything uh, what you can actually do is leave the photos there and um, just place that one folder extracted folder, not the zip file, the extracted folder, and place that directly onto the SD card itself, not within a folder that contains any images or not even in the DCIM folder. You want to actually put it in the main area of the SD card. So uh, hopefully that helps eliminate some of the confusion in regards to what on earth root is. And uh, now I kind of wish that I had done this when I needed a firmware update because now there's no way for me to walk you through the entire process. All my cameras are all completely up to date. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. Peace.